Hey there, Andrew, C1D Paintball. This game being played at Warzone Paintball and Rigo. We are playing on the market map. Now, this game is full of C1D players, C1D regulars. So, um, as much as we love playing with rentals and walk-ins, uh, because we are playing just with these like core experience players, we're gonna take it up a little notch. We're going to play a team death match with two lives on it. Now, um, as much as I love playing with new players, helping them out and kind of adjusting your game to set to their level, uh, it's nice to go out here and get a little shooty, but the best part about uh, the group of players that we have, we don't go too crazy. We try hard, but we don't cross a line. I think you know what you mean. Uh, those of you who have gone out to the field, uh, what I mean by that, um, you know, in most sports, it just takes one guy to throw a monkey wrench into it. But this was a, a great day of ball and a, and a great game. Also, it's the first uh, time Mike and Brian that joined us. And uh, actually, prior to the game, you're going to see Connor because Mike was on his team. Um, he's going to give him a little walk around, uh, very quick one, just a mid area in market so he can like acclimate him there. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This is a good one. So hope you enjoy. Those two guys coming in, that's Mike and uh, who? What's that? Those two guys coming in, that's Mike and what's his wife's name? I have no idea. Uh -huh. Just on Facebook. Oh, okay. I haven't played him like three weeks, man. <laughs> yeah, because I know your, your brother's really played with him. Yeah, I knew mean, it's tough. It's good. Oh, there's so much more cover on this side. <laughs> yeah, it's uh... It's easier to advance on this side too. Like, um, I'll just walk to it. Whatever. There's the, um. Last time we did that, they started This thing in the middle, the square. Yeah. It's like four corners, so it makes a square. So if you call it Stonehenge or square, this is where we want to get up to right away. We spawn on a on a way favorable side. Uh -huh. We want to get the half field bay. On the other hand, have such a hard time running up because they have to run across that road, right. and it's way more open than ours. So you just try to get up field as much as you can, sure. and that's like their. Uh, I mean, I didn't see you asking him, but like that's the problem with that side is you have to run up right away. Yeah, we and got, it's shit. We on that side. We got stuck on that side. Yeah. yeah sure. But no, it's like you don't want to stay in the back, right, right. just like any other field. But it's like this side's way more strong than the other side. It's one side of the map. Right. But yeah, you can play like the outside, the left is pretty good. You can shoot across. You know, I don't know how you play, but my play style is like I like to like run in. Oh. Connor not taking any prisoners, not sitting back on this one. He immediately runs from his spawn and gets behind Stonehenge. And I managed to get across and uh, to the street, uh, to the three stack as we call it. And uh, I'm already like driven with my back against the block I'm behind because uh, Connor's got me lined up. So uh, mm -hmm, both in new positions from spawn and uh, Connor's on me already. Okay, so I fire shots straight ahead to me. Now from Connor's perspective, uh, where I'm shooting, well, it's to his right. He's got a couple of teammates there. Uh, I didn't hit anybody. And speaking to my, uh, about uh, teammates to the right, I have my own teammates to my right I'm looking at here. 
And that means there's like three of us that have crossed the road. We need to get people across the road faster. We have two lives each, so we can take the chance. But as Connor mentioned before the game when he was talking to Mike, uh, out of the two spawns, the White House spawn where uh, my team spawned from isn't the best of the two. We gotta get guys across. We haven't. Being conservative at this point, especially with an extra life, is not really a, a, a great option, but, but it is where we are right now. Now, one of my teammates, this guy here, he uh, gets hit, so he'll have to go back to spawn. I will go into his position to fill that gap because uh, compared to where I am right now, that is a very big position to, to fill up. Now, um, Connor is going to look to his left. He'll see Rob. Uh, the two of them will be two of the three horsemen of the apocalypse in this game. Uh, playing exceptionally well for their team. But let's show you what happens so you can judge that yourself. My dad's up close on the right side. Okay, so uh, Connor is situated behind Stone Edge here. Two players to his right that I was shooting at before here and Rob to his left. Uh, he's got other teammates, but just these four players. Um, they form a pretty decent front line. Now I've actually turned around uh, looking at my spawn because um, I don't like what's happening so far. So I want to go back, kind of go at spawn, take a look, reassess what's going on because uh, I've got good vibes about the game so far yet. Now if you haven't already noticed, there's lots of shots being fired, not just me and Connor, it's early and all that. And pay attention throughout the game, you'll hear lots of shots, it's extra shooty. Once again, I mentioned um, that kind of at the beginning of the video, the introduction, that uh, there's no walk-ins or noobs on the field. So uh, we're free firing. We're not going fully auto or anything because we're not those kind of guys. But uh, we ain't holding anything back. Back to Stonehead! We're in the back left of the White House. They're spawn. We're well, in the back left of the spawn building. He's long balling. Hey, the bell's right in front of me. seen we got one speed baller on our team who's actually uh, in the White House scoping things out I also passed Miranda who was behind the White House just in between shots her hopper was open so I'll probably film that up I don't see too many of my teammates on on the on my right side here which would be to the uh, the west side of the map still not uh, that's not a great situation to be in but hey uh, it's rest calm here we each have two lives each now the video starts up, you'll hear one of the big things of the game, which should be for any paintball game, but in particular this one emphasized communication. I'll talk to my teammates a bit, and uh, Connor will also uh, talk direction with his. Hey Rob, do you see the double stack of barrels in front of me? There's a guy on it. I think it's my dad. So uh, Connor and I are actually kind of like lined up to get each other here. Um, although Connor's in a much better position, he's crouched behind barrier. 
and just leaning over, peeking to the right, he's got that SMG set up, which makes it a little easier. I'm kind of on top of a block, so a little bit more exposed, like all across my, 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 my line of sight or anybody's line of sight on the field. Um, I can see balls coming if they're long balls, but it's not an ideal situation, but this is where I am, and I know the dangers about uh, being where I am. Now, there's actually, uh, I'm gonna blow it up here, that's Connor's block, he's behind there. I uh, can see he got a teammate of mine to the left of him. He doesn't really see Connor too much. He's lined up there, but uh, just, if you're actually in his position, you can't really see Connor. You have to lean out a bit more. Now, when the game restarts, uh, what's well, gonna be happening here, in particular, I'll see Jay to my right. So along the west side of the map, he's going up. So I'll lean over there and I'll, I'll kind of go out there and fire at him. Um, yeah, he is a dangerous player. So for to have him rushing up like this, uh, doesn't help our situation that we really have, don't have any presence too far into the map. Hey, the next cover in front of you is good. Now, Connor to his right sees um, Mike join Nevin. These are the two players that I, I saw before. One was behind the other, uh, behind two different bears, and now they're behind the same. Uh, now, uh, if you add Rob to the fold, there's four players, but the real, including Connor, but the real three horsemen in this game, uh, you'd have Connor, Rob, and it is Nevin there. Uh, Mike did very well in it, but I've already done the graphics. It's his three horsemen. Uh, <laughs> Connor points out that if they're gonna move up, it's a barrier in front of them here that uh, they need to go to. It's all about communication. Speaking of communication, Nevin is going to tell Connor that he sees me, he's got me lined up. So uh, yeah, yeah, everybody wants the old man. Communication is key in almost every paintball game and uh, no less in this one. Run to that one if you can. If you're gonna run to a cover, go to the one in front of you. That one's safer. But don't go right now. Jay's on the right, watch it. I got the down on the right. Fuck. Hey, there's someone. Nevin! Nevin! Right there to the left! You can shoot him in his ass! So, Nevin took Connor's advice and, uh, well. I moved up a bit, but Nevin moved up to that barrier that Connor pointed out ahead of him. Now, uh, Connor did tell Nevin I moved up, and he mentioned that he can shoot me in the ass. But the thing is, Connor's on one angle, and Nevin's kind of on the other. How big is my ass? Is, is it really like bulging out from two sides of a barrier? If it's so big, Connor, shoot it, you know? The only thing that's, that's not big right now, and you know what's tiny right now? My self-esteem, you know? I'm, uh, for somebody over 50 years old, I'm trying to keep it together. And they're trying to shoot me in the ass. Oh, God. Once the video restarts here, you'll see I'm throwing shots uh, where Nevin and Mike are. But every second ball or so is starting to chop paint. It was just a couple of magazines on this day, so uh, it happens. But I'm trying to stick with it. Now, even though Connor is directing teammates to his right, he's going to look to his left. He's going to catch not one but two enemies right across his line of fire. I was trying to do drama there, like some ad they're selling something. You don't get one, you get two. So it's happy hour for Connor, two uh, teammates uh, of mine, two enemies of his cross over there. They get hit out and uh, yeah. I think with him organizing his teammates to the right, but going left and uh, taking a couple of players out, uh, that is the definition of uh, having your head on a swivel. Now, uh, with those two players out, Connor's going to actually adjust on the left side in case they try to rush there again. He's right across! He's on the barrier closest to the street on our side! The barrier! Right beside the street! Another one just ran! 
Another one from the left side. I'm going to see if I can circle left. Now I saw what happened to my two teammates before the corner hit and uh, I need to do something. Uh, they charged a kind of open in the west side. I'm going to circle around and go on the east side. Down the road there, uh, two attacks like this back to back, not necessarily expected. I don't think Connor would expect it from me. So I'm going to kind of circle back. Connor actually, I said I'm going to circle around left. Connor actually is going to circle around left as well. So I'm going to go around this way. I'm going to go down the east path. Uh, look, I mentioned already I've got two lives to my teammates. I'm going to mention it. So I want to waste one of my lives here by taking some of their uh, lives out too. So uh, maybe they're not as aggressive. Remember when you get hit, you got to go back to spawn. I want to open those spots on that side. So why not give it a try? Now for Connor, he's actually going to circle around this way just to get a better angle on that west side. Hey, I'm gonna go. I got both lives. Just wait. My dog's running all the way! Here side one! Right side! Yeah, so uh, that sound, that sound that your air tank is empty. I actually ran down uh, pretty far running for me by the way so a light jog for you regular folk i actually managed to get pretty far i really feel like i, I got the drop on them uh, i didn't get hit but with my air tank out i'm out of the game so yeah and this honestly uh it happens if you go to regular fields or got some small tanks like i like to run uh, or even big tanks you hear and usually it's the same people that don't fill up their air tanks this is only the second time it's happened to me so uh, yeah, uh, not a very good, not good timing for me. Now, the focus obviously, it's just Connor's camera for the rest of the game. Uh, focus on the communication and coordination he does with his teammates because uh, Orange team, his team, did an excellent job of it for this game. And you're gonna really see it now that his camera is the sole camera uh, for the rest of the match. <laughs> Sebastian's on the left! So Connor calls out Sebastian, uh, one of my two speedball players on uh, my side. And his location, he's an important player, obviously, around the, with the speedball marker. Uh, Connor has Rob ahead of him here, who is uh, one of the horsemen. Uh, in excellent position, he's angled off midfield, uh, ready to rock. Hey Rob! Rob! Can I take that cover in front of you? Am I good to go through it? Uh, yeah, just watch it through the drop. I have to grab the battle. Alright, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. Oh, that's, that's his V-spot. That's his V-spot. Yeah, I see him. Morgan! He's throwing those balls in front of you! So, Connor uh, calls out to Nevin. There are still uh, enemies ahead of him. Good communication. Now, they clearly, his team clearly has a manpower advantage here, but they know they just can't rush in. They can't just throw their extra lives, even like, you know, as Connor he hasn't even been hit yet. They're not throwing it to them. They're being careful. They have time on their side for now. They are advancing up. So, uh, not doing anything rash, systematically communicating, and uh, really just picking off my teammates uh, shot by shot. Hey, 
Hey, Jay! Jay! One's on the left side in front of me, Rob. He's on their side. I think the barrels is dead. At least two. two. At least. One behind the barrel. One behind the barrel. One the bluff. One straight ahead. One behind the bluff. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Turn it up. He just ran up on the right. This is quite the angle. Uh, we talked about one thing, redefining a term earlier in the video. How about the term thread the needle? So Kona's got to th uh, shoot through this between trees and that, threading the needle, taking another enemy out. As this is happening, Connor's not being uh, unchecked. You'll see a lot of splash go by the barrier he's behind, uh, but he's, he's behind it enough, at least for now, to protect himself. Stop, stop! Back left! Back left! There's still a guy in the barrel! Where is he? He's still in the back left in the double stack of barrels! Those are the last two! this video there's about 45 seconds of Connor just on this last block before he crosses the road to get across to the White House side um, it's that thing I mentioned earlier where they're taking their time they're waiting to make sure you know how many players do we see okay there's two left where are they blah 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 they're not just rushing in throwing caution to the wind because you've seen it you played uh, any decent amount of paintball games turnarounds happen teams have like a, a five versus two uh, situation where they're up and very quickly it can turn around and I know everybody's got two lives here but if Connor gets hit here he has to go all the way back to spawn they lose that ground he's gained so uh, better safe than sorry Is some, uh, there's a, he's shooting at me right now level of nerding out I'm doing paintball nerd and this and on uh, this is like a, a great video to show communication and everything uh, Connor pointed out the guy that was shooting at him there behind the block uh, Connor wants to get across Rob gives him cover Connor gets there 
uh, he waited before. It's just, it's an excellent thing of communication. You heard not only Connor talking, Rob giving call-outs all the time. Nevin was as well on the other side. So Connor's actually behind the block just at the corner, just at the edge of the White House side of the spawn there. Uh, he's got an enemy right here. Um, you know what? No, he's not going to miss from this uh, from this uh, distance. Uh, he's got the guy totally by surprise. So, uh, yeah, let's watch what, what we know is going to happen. He's dead! Yeah, nice. Just so there's a speedball the entire time looking there. Yeah. Alright. Great game. Like I said, almost uh, uh, a 101 on just communication. How simple communication. Uh, you could run up. This could have been, Connor could have been playing with totally new players that have never played at the field, rather. But just a little common sense, you know, explaining, okay, the next barrier, this and that, where you see the guys. Uh, Rob getting more comfortable playing with everybody, doing great call outs, Nevin as well. Mike did a pretty good job too, but there's only three horsemen because I did the graphics. <laughs> that was a good one. There'll be more. Go out there, have fun. Uh, organize. Don't over organize. You don't want to go too try hard. Although we, we, we tend to get more and more and more just playing amongst ourselves. <laughs> but remember, at the end of the day, it's just a game.